And here we have the blister fenders, but done in a new way, using this U-shaped highlight. So as we were following in love with this, this new sense of muscle and, and ruggedness, uh, we were never forgetting actually that uh, the Pathfinder has become a member of everyone's family because of its functionality. And we've built on that. So even the, the third row, which has become much more roomy, with three adults being able to sit in the back, and also this sense of the ample cabin, that even though this car is about adventure and ruggedness, that it still needs to deliver this new level of uh, premium and um, comfortable interior. Also allowing technology to, to shape the interior. And all the, the digital zone is at one level, close to the horizon line, so that our customers, while they're driving, they're not dropping their eyes and, and searching for the information that they need to get. Well, thank you for letting me take you a quick walk around the Pathfinder. Back to Nashville. Hi, I'm Ken Lee, Senior Design Director at Nissan. And I've had the privilege to lead the design development of the new Pathfinder. Today, I'm really excited to be here at the Nissan Heritage Collection in Zama. This Pathfinder here, the original first generation Pathfinder, has been one of my childhood favorites. And I'm really happy today to see it once again. When I think back, seeing the first Pathfinder hit the road, it was very exciting because um, it brought something new, something fresh and exciting to the market. On the road at the time, when you compare this with its uh, contemporaries, those were much more traditional, boxy looking SUVs. And then this Pathfinder comes along. It breaks new ground because it brings some of that fresh 1980s aero technology oriented aesthetics to the marketplace. For example, you can see in this front end, we have this large chamfer up top with the three very identifiable slots on the hood. These are instantly recognizable elements and it looks fresh, exciting, and new. And then looking at the body side, I always uh, remember these fender blisters on the side that bulge out, showing the muscularity of the uh, toughness underneath. But it's done in a fresh way. It's not boxy. It's integrated seamlessly with a very cool sculpture. So there's a twist to how the original Pathfinder treats all the elements and surfaces that made it new and fresh at the time. Our goal was to capture the spirit and the essence of this original Pathfinder. To be inspired by the original means making it bold, strong, and also have a simplicity at the same time. So what we did on the new Pathfinder is, of course, strengthen the silhouette. The front end becomes more upright. The hood is straighter and flatter. And the total silhouette is simple and bold. In the original Pathfinder, the blister fenders, very iconic, very special at the time because it was showing a new type of form language. On the new Pathfinder, we also aim to capture the blister fender movement. So there is a fender crease line over each wheel showing the muscularity and the strength of the stance. But at the same time, it is not a traditional blister fender. Looking along the body side, we see a very distinctive, unique, U-shaped highlight that captures each fender blister and fuses it together with the body side for a new sculpted, fresh feeling. Another very interesting element on the original Pathfinder, as everybody remembers, is the triangular quarter window. Now, this is a three door. So of course, on the new Pathfinder, which is a five door, we wanted to interpret it in a new way. And we've come up with a new floating C pillar that is quite structural. At the same time, the floating design allows us to provide a two-tone roof treatment. So it gives a sense of cleverness and something new and fresh on the new Pathfinder. So we've done a lot to make the new silhouette tougher and stronger, but at the same time, the things that we're doing are functional as well. For one thing, we've taken the cabin and stood the side glass up to be more vertical. And that gives a lot more cabin roominess and a spacious feeling inside. At the same time, the vehicle looks bigger and stronger and more purposeful. 
So one of the elements that makes the original Pathfinder look so clean and modern to me at the time was the sharpness and the details, the way they're executed, doesn't look like a traditional SUV at the time. And that inspires us for the new Pathfinder to also look for high-tech expression of the details. Starting with the headlamp, so lighting is a big thing these days, and we want to convey a sense of high-tech. And at Nissan, we've always had the uh, boomerang signature lamp uh, for the past uh, generation. And to bring it into an SUV, it's interpreted differently. It's more rectangular in shape, but at the same time, we're finding some cleverness in the way we construct it. There's body color parts with the bumper fascia and the headlamp interlocking together to form a new movement that is rectangular, yet alludes to the Nissan Boomerang signature. Now within the headlamps, also very detailed and intricate with full LED lighting, and the signature itself forms a boomerang shape. So very iconic, very memorable, and sharp and crisp and clean. So another element that makes the new Pathfinder instantly recognizable as a Nissan is the V-Motion grille. This time around, the V-Motion grille is interpreted in a new way, suitable for a modern SUV. It's bold, sharp, and strong, looking like a structure that wraps over the hood straight onto the cowl, making one seamless movement. And inside the V-Motion, of course, you'll find the famous three slots that are carried from the original Pathfinder as an Easter egg, as a reference to the original icon. Moving on to the rear of the new Pathfinder, our goal is to make it clean, simple, and wide feeling, much like the original. The new tail lamps are flush, horizontally oriented, giving a sense of width, and overall has a very modern appeal. And you'll notice that in the center, we proudly display the Pathfinder badge with big letters. When I remember from my childhood, those Pathfinder advertisements in magazines, they were in the bright red color, very iconic and memorable. They just pop with energy. And in the new Pathfinder, again, we have a very interesting red color called Scarlet Ember. This color gives the vehicle lots of energy and it shows off the forms very well. And uh, this time around, to add uh, something new, we are introducing a two-tone color on the Pathfinder. So you could get it with a black roof, and we've carefully designed the graphics on the body side, including the floating C-pillar to allow the two-tone roof to seamlessly integrate into the overall design. Another color that we're introducing on the new Pathfinder is obsidian green. Now, this is a very interesting new color because it has a solid light quality, yet with a hint of pearl. So it conveys a sense of toughness and outdoors image, ready to go on an adventure. Much like the new exterior, the interior is tough and strong and shows that it's ready for an adventure. The shapes on the instrument panel and doors communicate strength with their bold and tough sections. But at the same time, these shapes are wrapped in quality materials with double stitching. So it gives our customer comfort and a sense of quality and premiumness. The center display screen is placed high on the instrument panel for easy visibility, while all of the controls are logically grouped together. So overall, you look at this interior and there's a sense of function and it's very user-friendly for our customer. As we move down to our center console, you'll see that the wireless charger is integrated along with our drive-by-wire shifter. So all of this technology is neatly integrated into this spacious and inviting interior. Our customers have big expectations. They want comfort, they want everyday ease of use, and the ruggedness that allows them to go anywhere when they want to. We looked into our past and our heritage in order to shape the future. We thoroughly enjoyed working on this project and we're very pleased with the results. Making the Pathfinder much more modern, tougher, stronger, and more iconic. And we hope that you will like it too. The Pathfinder is back.